Hi YouTube, it's Pan. I'm back with a tutorial about how to make poses look natural with the use of action lines. And this is originated from an ask that I got on Tumblr asking me about how I make my poses look natural. And I wrote a little bit of information with a couple of examples, but um, people wanted more information once I'd answered that. And I feel like it's a kind of technique that is hard to explain when I'm typing it out. So I'm making a video. And uh, the basic idea is that you've got this one initial line that you make that's the summary of the shape of the pose. And then afterwards you put in, you think about your anatomy and you put in the angles of the limbs and uh, all of the other details. And the line's usually following the curve of the spine. And then um, sometimes the leg follows the same line, especially in the standing pose that I have as an example with the bow and arrow. There's one stroke that sort of summarizes that shape, and then in the other one, you, there's a definite curve of the spine at the top, and then the legs go off at different angles. So it's uh, fluid. I, I mean, you have to discern it in a sort of intuitive way, rather than thinking, where exactly is the skeleton of this person? Because if you started immediately with a skeleton, your poses tend to look more rigid and um, less dynamic. So, uh, of course, anatomy is really important, um, but I personally prefer to think about all of the little details of anatomy after I've put down the gesture of the pose, um, because that gives my drawings a bit more life. So, uh, okay, I'll explain a little bit more about how I do that, but first I'd also like to mention that if you ever have the opportunity to go to a life drawing class with a live model, um, that is so worthwhile. It's so different uh, drawing from an actual person than it is from a photo. And often they'll get you to do exercises where you draw uh, like a one minute, maybe even 30 seconds sketch of the pose, which really forces you to focus on that gesture. And uh, of course, if that's not available to you, there's so many awesome stock photos out there that people are making for free on the internet. And one of those people is called Null Entity on DeviantArt, and uh, I'm using his stock photos for this video. So definitely check him out if you are looking for references. Okay, so we'll start with the standing pose as an example. And um, I've already drawn the action line, and you can see that the two main curves in this pose are right up here at the shoulder level, and just the curve from his neck down to his spine, and then the curve of the front leg. And now, um, once you've got that line, it's good to start thinking about the actual anatomy. So uh, you can put down sort of uh, a rough, rough uh, shape constructing the body with all the, the right angles and stuff. And you don't have to follow this action line precisely. That's not what it's there for. It's just as a guide. So that's the kind of thing that you would get at the end of that. And you could see that I shortened the legs a little bit at the end, which is something that you can do at any point. And it's good to concentrate on the gesture first and then concentrate on those types of issues of proportion. So that was our first example. And now um, we can look at a more complicated pose, perhaps, which is this one. This one, I chose this photo because it has, again, a very clear line. You can see um, there's the curve of the spine going this way. And that line follows all the way down to this other leg. So... The action line for that would be something like this. And for the last pose that I wanted to show you, there's... Um, it has a little bit more variation in the angles. So this is a little bit more difficult, but I thought it was worth talking about because it might be hard to identify where the action line is in this pose. So I think that I would personally go for something shorter than the other ones by just looking at this 
curve here, which does follow the spine pretty directly, coincidentally. So I would start with something like that, and then um, I would look at the other angles that there are there. So the angle of the arm going up like this, the angle of this leg in relationship to this arm, this one going down and then in. So the proportions there aren't completely perfect, but and then uh, that considered, other things to think about is that you don't have to follow the um, reference pose completely. You can take parts of it, or you can just change it a little bit. Um, the reason that we have a reference is so that we have some kind of idea of what it would look like in reality, and that's what makes it look convincing. Um, and then once that's out of the way, you can do whatever you want, because this is art. <laughs> Anyway, as usual, I hope you found it useful, and uh, I hope you try it out and see if it works for you. If you do try it out, you should tag me in it. Uh, all my social media is in the description and at the end of this video, and I'd love to see all of your work. Uh, that said, uh, thank you so much to the new subscribers of this channel. I appreciate it so much. My subscriber count has almost just about doubled since my last video, which is unfathomable so yeah anyway thank you so much and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye